you guys remember what today's spirit day is? Well, isn't it Wacky Wednesday? Oh, yeah. yeah I don't like that. Why are you doing so Wednesday. stupid? It's pretty stupid. It's real stupid. I think it's pretty dumb. Like, nobody wears that stuff. Right. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, where's your Wacky Wednesday gear? Where's your spirit? Hello, Brownsburg High School. Thanks for watching VHS TV. Today is Wednesday, August 23rd. I'm Rose Cruzan. And I'm Emma West. And here's what's going on at VHS. It's Riley Week, and there are several things going on. Tomorrow, there will be a Dine to Donate at Arnie's with proceeds going to Riley Children's Hospital. There will also be a water balloon fight on Friday before the football game for the team that raises the most money this week. You can donate at lunch or use the QR code on the TVs around the school. And don't forget to wear your red out shirt on Friday. They can be purchased at lunch for $12. Thank you for your help as Chainlink attempts to reach their goal of $23,000 this year. Chess Club will be held each Friday in Mr. Dalton's room, B2311, from 3 to 4.30 p.m. If you are interested in learning how to play, Mr. Dalton will gladly teach you. Chess Club also hosts a variety of additional styles of chess. Double chess called Bug House Chess and a four-player chess on a big four-player board. They are also establishing a chess.com Brownsburg Chess Club. Please come and check out all that Chess Club has to offer. Do you find yourself bursting with random knowledge? Do you like playing trivia games like Trivia Crack, Quiz Up, or Heads Up? If so, then check out the Quiz Bowl. Quiz Bowl is an academic team in which students compete against other schools around the state. Quiz Bowl will be held every Tuesday and Thursday after school in B2305. Their first practice will be Thursday, August 24th. Come learn, laugh, and compete. Key Club will have their call-out meeting on Tuesday, August 29th. Key Club gets students involved in the school and Brownsburg community. The meeting will take place at 7.15 a.m. in the LGI room. Any students are welcome, and any questions can be sent to Mrs. Holtman before the meeting. The next HOSA, Future Health Professionals Meeting, is on Tuesday, August 29th at 3 p.m. in room C2403. Mum orders will be due this meeting. Please note the pickup date has been changed from September 19th at 5 p.m. If you are looking for any volunteer hours, the Brownsburg Marching Band can use your help. On Saturday, September 9th, Brownsburg High School will be hosting over 20 bands from around the state to compete and perform in our stadium. The band program can use volunteers for helping to guide these bands through the campus that day. Volunteering for this event counts towards NHS hours and other service hours. You can find Mr. Catholic or Mr. Paulson in the band room to sign up or use the link below. If you sign up to volunteer, please attend the volunteer meeting on September 5th at 6.30 p.m. in the band room. DECA is currently selling homecoming shirts on their Rose Promotion website. The store is open until midnight this Sunday, August 27th. You can scan the QR code to get to the store. See any DECA member for more info. Anyone that received an application to join the National Arts Honor Society, don't forget they are due in Mrs. Woodcock in C2201 or C2208 by this Friday. Please make sure that your application is complete and on time to be considered for NAHS. The first French Club meeting of the year will take place on Thursday, August 24th in Madame Condon's room, B1410 from 3 to 3.45 p.m. They will talk about activities for the year and the mystery of the macaron. All French students and those interested in the Francophone culture are welcome to attend. Bulldogs for Life will have their call-out meeting Thursday, August 24th, tomorrow. That meeting will take place in Mrs. Heldman's room, C2308 at 7.10 a.m. There will be seven rolls. All are welcome to attend. DECA will hold call-out meetings on Tuesday, August 29th. There will be one at 7.15 a.m. and another after school. They will take place in C1304 and is for both new and returning members. You only need to attend one of the meetings. See Mrs. Sablehouse or DECA member with questions. The Best Buddies Club will have a short call-out meeting on Thursday, August 31st. It will take place after school until 3.15 and A1316. You can also check Parent or Student Square for all the info. Mark your calendars. The speech and debate team will be holding their call-up meeting Thursday, August 31st in Miss Burnham's room, B2405 from 3 to 3.30. Come if you want to make new friends, show off your acting skills, make speeches about something you care about, and so much more. If you have any questions, ask a current member or see Miss B. Are you looking to travel during spring break 2025? Mrs. Moeller and Mr. Freeman will be taking a nine-day trip to Columbia. Highlights include horseback riding, snorkeling, visiting a coffee plantation, learning to salsa dance, hiking through national forests, and visiting a local school, and many more exciting things. If you are interested in hearing more details about this trip, use the QR code to sign up for the informational being, meeting being held on Thursday, August 24th, tomorrow, in Mrs. Muller's room, B2, 428 at 6.30 p.m. Please enter through door four and follow the arrows to her room. Feel free to stop by either Mrs. Muller's room, B2, 428, or Mr. Friedman's room, B2, 402, if you have any questions. 
Hey, did you know that the football team is already off to a great start? You mean soccer? Whatever you call it, Addison Yarnell has more information for us about it. With the boys' soccer season already underway, we wanted to catch up with some of the players to see what their goals and expectations were for this year. Honestly, this is my first season where the expectations are high. We have a, a strong squad and we're not coming off of a losing season, so uh, my expectations are to continue to perform and hopefully, uh, like I said, compete for HCC. It's been a while since Brownsburg soccer uh, has been in the top half of conference, so I'd, I'd love to do that. And, uh, personally, I'd love to, to beat Pike. That was my alma mater, so to beat them in a sectional is a great goal of mine. The boys have already had a big start to their season with two wins over Lebanon and New Pal in big fashion. Team chemistry has evolved because we have a lot more seniors, and it's more like tight-knit group than it was last year because all of us are returning. Uh, my personal goals to score as many goals as I possibly can, help the team out, and make it to sectionals, sectional championship or even state. I expect us to have a winning record. Um, with wins against tough teams, we have a tough schedule, and I believe that we can make it out of our conference in the top three, and I think we can make it to the state. Um, we've been working every day, summer workouts, um, we have practice, get, getting in the weight room. The boys fell short last year in playoffs to Pike. They now are returning nine of their 11 starters and have high hopes for this season. We're returning 13 seniors and nine starters, so we're looking good and we're all on the same page. My personal goals would be win sectionals and as well win conference. I'm hoping to be a first team state all player and just do my best I can to help the team. Good luck to the boys and their match tomorrow and for the rest of the season. Addison Yarnell, BHS TV. It's called football. It's soccer. Anyway, thank you, Addie, and good luck to the boys on the rest of their season. Now it's time for sports. Hey, Christian, what do you have for us today? Hey, guys, we had several teams in contests this week with lots more to come. Let's get things started with the girls' soccer team who hosted Tri-West on Monday. The varsity had a great night and got a 5-0 win over the Bruins. Kirsten Talukian had two goals and an assist. Elizabeth Lantrip had a goal and an assist. Quinn Weston also had a goal and an assist. And Zaylee Sox put up a goal for the Dogs. Natalie Hay and Cora Pfeiffer each had an assist. Nice job, ladies. The JV team was equally impressive, also earning a 5-0 win. Grace Schaefer had two goals to lead the Dogs. Taylor Weissman, Josie Sinkler, and Reese McCroskey each had a goal. The ladies will host HSC tonight. Good luck. And if you can't make it out to the pitch, you can join us live or on demand later at bcsc.tv. Our student crew will be there to bring you all the action, and we will hope you join them. And last night, the boys' soccer teams traveled to HSC to take on the Royals. The varsity earned a 4-4 tie. Grant Porath had a hat trick in the match, and Weston Bradley added a goal. The JV also finished in a 1-1 tie. Cesar Salcedo had the dogs' lone goal in the match. Dylan Sessoms played well in the midfield and controlled the game. Both teams will host Southport on Saturday. Good luck. And good luck to the volleyball teams who are back on the court tonight hosting Plainfield. But for now, that's it for sports. Back over to you. Thanks, Christian. That's all we got for you today, BHS. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you on Friday.